Hi everybody, welcome to RHC's MPLS VPN walkthrough tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you about how we configure MPLS VPN start from scratch. I'm going to walk through with you step by step tutorials. Before you study this MPLS VPN tutorials, you have to have the understanding of the basic ITP protocols like the um, RIP, ENGRP, OSPF, BGP, Steady Route. <clears throat> and um, also the basic MPLS label operations like push, swap, and pop concepts. So you can study all these concepts in our REC channels, and also you have to understand a little bit about the, how the MPLS VPN case studies. <clears throat> well, in this tutorials, we have total of 16 routers here, and um, here is the MPLS VPN service provider backbone. And here we have the um, our P routers. Okay, if we look at the MPLS VPN, we, we can see basically three types of routers. The first one is P routers. We call it provider routers. In this case, router one, two, and three. And we have the provider edge router. In this topology, we have router four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we have the customer edge routers from the router nine through sixteen. Well, right now the first the first steps what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure the um, IGP protocols in this case we can configure the OSPF as our MPLS IGP backbone <clears throat> and then the next step we're gonna be configuring the uh, our P routers all right so for the first steps we're gonna configure the IGP OSPF protocols in all of our P routers here Here is we, I already set um, all the IP addresses to save time, and this is for the um, router one, which is we, I name it as a P one dash R one. So in this case, going to be here. This one will be first Ethernet two slash zero. Sorry about that. So I just copy just for the IP address. And, and we have the loopback IP address assignments is here. So this is um, router one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna configure config T. And this is for the router two IP address. And we have out of three here. <clears throat> okay, and the next steps it's we're gonna configure the OSBF on all of our P routers interfaces. So here I'm gonna be configuring I'm gonna verify all our IP addresses are up state and interface loopback 0, IP OSPF 1, area 0. Here I'm going to define the IP OSPF network point to point so that when this router advertises this loopback it will advertise this um, it's the subnet number that it's configured. In this case is slash 32. Okay and I'm going to put all these IP addresses interfaces in the into the OSPF And also on the first Ethernet two slash zero IP OSPF one area zero. So, and then I'm gonna define um, OSPF router ID as one dot one dot one dot one for the best predicts. And the next things I'm gonna move on to the router two. Um, I'm gonna verify. IP OSPF 1, area 0, IP OSPF network point to point, and I'm going to put all these interfaces like IP OSPF 1, area 0,
and <clears throat> I'm gonna configure a router ID OSP router ID as 2.2.2.2 and then I'm gonna move on to the router 3 and I have loop back here IP OSPF network point to point and first Ethernet 0 is 0 first Ethernet 1 slash 0 and <clears throat> router OSPF 1 router ID is going to be 3.3.3.3 all right, so I've already done the OSPF on all these interfaces as the first steps on the P routers. And let's verify. Show IP OSPF neighbor and router one have the two neighbors, two and three. Router two have the neighbors one and three, and router three have the to neighbors one and two. <clears throat> when we verify our OSPF route, show IP route, OSPF, we're gonna have <clears throat> here. Okay, after configuring the um, the IGB protocols as our OSPF, the next steps I'm gonna do on the P routers will be configuring the LDP. So when we configure the label distribution protocol LDP, uh, we can choose two types of protocols. One is the LDP and another one will be TDP. So TDP stands for Tag Distribution Protocol, which is a Cisco proprietary protocol and it is no longer used. So in this case, I'm going to use LDP. So, <clears throat> which is the Ambitious Table Protocols. So to configure the LDP, I'm going to go to the Global Configuration Mode here, Config T, MPLS Label Distribution label protocol LDP here and on the router 2 MPLS label protocol LDP and router 3 here protocol LDP so after defining the MPLS label protocol LDP I'm gonna define the MPLS LDP router ID so MPLS LDP router ID it's a, like similar like to like uh, OSPF, EAGP, and BGP. That means that if we don't configure status, um, you know, uh, manually, um, it will choose the like numerically highest IP address of the any loopback interfaces we configure in the router. And um, if we don't have the loopback, it's gonna choose um, the the highest IP active IP address configured in the router. So, <clears throat> in this case, um, we will configure them manually to um, ensure that the, the the transport address of the ambulance PA is uh, stable. So. In here, I'm gonna use the MP. I'm gonna use another command: MPLS label, MPLS LGP, router ID loopback zero. I'm gonna use it force. Same thing: MPLS LGP, router ID loopback zero, force. <clears throat> All right, so um. Now we've done um, two MPLS protocols, um, which is MPLS table protocol LDP and the MPLS LDP router ID loopback zero. The next step is going to be really enabling the MPLS IP on the interfaces, which we want to enable the MPLS forwarding of the IPv4 packets along our OSPF IGP protocols. So <clears throat> in here, if we look at this, um, where we're going to be enabling MPLS IP address, and MPLS IP commands on is uh, all these interfaces you hear. That means on all P routers, all these interfaces here, and on the PE, we have uh, three interfaces in here in this PE, and we will be enabling MPLS MPLS IP interfaces on on these interfaces, which is connected to our P routers. So we, we're going to do the PE configuration on the next tutorials and let's do this um, P router first. So on this router one, we have a three interfaces. So interface first Ethernet 0 slash 0, I just configured the MPLS IP. And first Ethernet 1 slash 0 
and first is the net two slash zero. So that's it. On the router two, we have three interfaces here, four, four interfaces here. Um, <clears throat> interface first is the net um, zero slash zero. MPLS IP, first Ethernet 1 slash 0, MPLS IP, first Ethernet 2 slash 0, MPLS IP, and first Ethernet 3 slash 0, MPLS IP. And you can see now MPLS neighbor is LDB neighbor is already up between router 1 and router 2, I mean P1 and P2. Alright, after that, now we're going to move on to our router 3 P routers. Interface first Ethernet 0 slash 0 will be MPLS IP, interface first Ethernet 1 slash 0. MPLS IP and um, 2 slash 0, MPLS IP and 3 slash 0, MPLS IP. So now <clears throat> we have done with the MPLS configuration on all of our P routers. So <clears throat> when we verify, two, two types of command, uh, three types of commands that we configure on our uh, Three types of MPLS commands that we configure on our, our P routers. When we do the show run include MPLS, um, we configure the um, MPLS first. We configure the LP, MPLS LTP protocol LTP on the global configuration mode, and then after that we define MPLS LTP router ID loopback zero, and then we configure on this all the interfaces to enable the MPLS IP um, to enable MPLS forwarding of all the IPv4 packets along our this. MPLS VPN backbone. So after that, um, we're gonna verify um, <clears throat> whether we config we enable the MPLS interfaces uh, correctly. So when, what we're gonna do is show MPLS interfaces. So what we're gonna see, we're gonna be seeing oh, we have a three interfaces here to enable the MPLS LDP and, and the operation is yes. And here we are. <clears throat> Alright, so this is going to be the first steps and we're going to move on to the next tutorials which is our MPLS VPN walkthrough tutorial series 2 and we're going to verify how the MPLS uh, neighbor established and we're going to configure all, all our PE routers to function the MPLS <clears throat> So thank you very much everyone and see you in the next tutorial.